Uh, g'day YouTubers, Michael here. And today we're gonna do a uh, RJ45 connector. We're gonna crimp it onto some outside or outdoor Cat5 cable, which is jelly filled. And this will be a quick video to uh, demonstrate how I go about crimping connectors on. The way you do it might be different, uh, or the way you've uh, been shown might be different. But I, the way I find to do it, um, I'll give you a quick demonstration. This is um, horrible stuff to work on, but it's uh, the only stuff you can use when you're uh, burying the cable underground or if you're uh, running it on a continuary wire outside. Uh, it's called Outdoor Cat 5. Um, and uh, we'll just do a quick video on how I put crimp the connector on. Um, if, you, if it seems like I'm rushing a bit, it's because I don't have much battery, battery left on my phone. So I wanna try and get this done fairly quickly. Now I just try and score the outside uh, sheaf. I don't try and cut it, uh, just score it and you can see that it will actually come apart when you give it a bit of a, uh, or I need to score it a little bit better than that. We'll try not to cut through because if you cut through you can actually end up cutting the inner wires. So try to avoid that now you can get a proper stripping tool but I've just got a Stanley knife it's easy enough to to use so as you can see it's jelly filled horrible stuff but um, that keeps the moisture in it and water out, so it keeps the moisture ingress. Obey, just use a rag, a bit of a damp rag, it's not a dry rag. It's got a bit of water on there, just to sort of help pull the jelly off. You've got to bring all the different um, strands out, or, or different pairs out, and then fan them out. Get that jelly on your fingers and you'd never get it off. Well, you do get it off, but it just takes forever to get it off. It's horrible stuff. So I fan out all the pears. And I cut it. Oh, I don't know, what's that, about six inches or, or so. Cut the sheaf back that much. Gives me a bit to play with. It's easier to play with when it's longer. Easier to um, get them all lined up. Now in Australia, we use um, T568A, not T568B pairing. In other countries, they use um, 568B. But uh, our main uh, configuration for Australia and I don't know why that is it just it just seems to be that standard is the A configuration so what I'm showing you is the A configuration so I'm gonna just clean all these wires and give them a little bit of a tug just so it gets the uh, twist out of them so they've got a bit of a twist and get a bit of a twist out of them when they well, you, I mean, when they get a bit of a twist in there, so you want to try and get it out. Anyway, you know what I mean. I'm not editing this video. I'm just going to let it run as it is. So it's as it comes. So first, start off with the green pair. So you want the green mate. And the green. And then we want the yellow, oh, sorry, orange mate. Oh, we've got yellow from and then because we're in a configuration we then go with the blue and blues mate and coming back to being a uh, we'll go back a bit here just giving a bit of a helping hand in the way they seat 
See, this one's jumped over. Just give a bit of a twist like that. Then we go back to our orange for our A configuration. And then our um, browns mate. So the difference with the A and B configuration, the actual green pairs will be where the orange pairs are. And then we go brown. So we've got greens mate green, orange mate blue, blues mate orange, browns mate brown. Uh, just pull them a bit. So I tend to grab them like this. I'll just give them a bit of a, a pull and a twist. It tries to get them sort of seated in line. And now we've got them seated in line, as you can see, we'll cut that back to about, I don't know, what's that, an inch and a half? I'm not an imperial person, so I'm not quite sure. Feed that on. Push that in. Try and push it all the way in. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my boot on. This boot, put it on first, then it goes back over there. But this is going to be inside, so it's not going to matter. I'm not worried about the boot. Put the crimper in. Connector into the crimping tool and crimp it up. And now we have cables crimped on. Now I should have actually got this sleeve further in to give it a bit of strain relief. But as I said, this is gonna be inside, so it's not gonna be an issue. Um, I'll have that um, tied back. Here's a one I did earlier, and that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, so we get our unit uh, land tester on there and we'll just test that our cable is okay and you can see that the cable is okay there's no ground wire even though it's a, it's a grounding connector this doesn't need a ground wire for this this application where this has been installed all right thank you very much see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.